What's up YouTube, everything is tech here with some more Apple news. Apple finally released a few products, a few new products, so I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, some tour of them. The first product I'm going to go over is a new 27 inch display. It is coming soon, but Apple did just announce it, and as you can see it says coming soon. So you can expect this to come in the next few weeks, really great. The 24 inch has been reduced by $100 so far, and you know that's a little of a bummer I definitely think they could have reduced it a little more but no biggie hundred dollars it's not bad and hopefully if you buy it from the refurbished it's probably gonna be an extra hundred dollars less so that's pretty cool and you can definitely see this coming up in the next few weeks then we have the new magic trackpad it's seventy dollars pretty decent price for the trackpad it's basically a portable trackpad so you can use it with your iMac and your Mac Pro or any Mac desktop and it's basically the MacBook lineup trackpad. I love the MacBook lineup trackpads. They're beautiful and I definitely think Apple did a great job bringing the multi-touch trackpad for the desktops. So that's already available. You can purchase it right now for $69.99, $70. That's great. Then we have the new IMAX and these were definitely a little shock and you know you really see Apple upgrading the IMAX in the time of September or October and you know we got them really early this year. We got them in July so that's a good shock now the first 21.5 inch comes with a 3.06 gigahertz that's the same but it comes with i3 and has a HD graphics uh, AC resolution and you can upgrade to 8 gigs for $200 the same and then you have the option to buy the magic trackpad with the magic mouse and for the extra $69 and you're basically just going to be paying for the trackpad so that's pretty decent and then we have the second 21.5 inch and this uh, processor has been upgraded to 3.2 instead of 3.06 and it comes with HD graphics, 4 gigs of RAM, you can customize that to 8 gigs and for the processor it comes with i3 default as you can see but you can actually upgrade it to up to i5 that's definitely good because I definitely don't want a 27 inch uh, display with a i7 or i5 on my you know, pretty small desk so if you've probably seen my black desk there, my black desk and it's pretty small. I don't want to have a 27 inch. So, you know, being able to have an i5 on a 21.5 inch screen all in one, that's definitely a great thing. I think Apple did. And that's basically it for the 21.5 inch. For the 27 inch, we have 3.2 gigahertz upgraded from 3.06. And you can customize this up to i5. So that's great. So, it's pretty cool. And then you can up, uh, customize up to 16 gigs for an extra $1,000. And then the graphics card remains the same. And then you have the last 27 inch. This is a quad core. It comes with i5 default, and you can customize it to i7. And the processor has been bumped up a little bit more. And then you can customize their memory. And as with all IMAX and I believe Mac Pros and uh, Mac Minis, you get the new Match Trackpad for the extra $69. And that is pretty much it for the IMAX. Now, the final update is the Mac Pro. God, this looks really beastly. 12 cores of processing power. That's that's definitely sick. Although, you know, we definitely saw this coming. Anyway, it's not here at the moment. It will be coming in August, as you can see here. So, you know, if you're waiting for a new Mac Pro, I guess you're going to be really happy when, when buying this. And I don't think Apple definitely... I don't think they overpriced it. Pretty much going to remain the same, I believe. Maybe an extra $100. But, God, 12 cores, that's, you know, that's definitely sick. But anyways, those are the upgrades, new Apple LED cinemas, a new Magic Trackpad device, new IMAX, and the new Mac Pro. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Everything is tech here, and I have, hope you have a good day.